I'm I'm from the home of Rich and Alpo, right? Yes. Kevin Childs and you know all of the people who are known uh, for for selling drugs and you know so that was running rampant, especially yes. in the '90s. That's where, that's what I grew up with. Like the entrepreneurs I grew up uh, with, was, they were selling drugs. They was hustlers, you know. I mean, that's who I learned entrepreneurship from same, originally. Look, same, <laughs> you know. And 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 funny thing was, it was it was a, a interesting thing was that because I was so close to like the drug dealers and the hustlers and all that stuff, I learned from them, got a job and just just applied those same rules yes. in the corporate world. So I worked in, at, at a video store first and then uh, at 19, I, I became a banker. Yes. And then the rest is sort of history where, um, you know, I was a teller, personal banker, private banker, manager money for wealthy all, people. This is hilarious because in... The, my senior year of high school, I got a job as a bank teller. See, look, yeah, yeah. And I just was like, oh, I've made it. Yeah. I, I, oh, that was, no, but no. <laughs> don't, don't put some respect on the teller game, though, right? <laughs> like, like at one point, though, it was a big deal yes. to be at, like, oh, you work at a bank? Exactly. Like, it was like, a big deal. You feel yeah. like like a grown-up. Like, you feel like a more serious person, 100%. you know? Because I, I was a cashier before. Yeah. Which is, like, that's a very natural trajectory to go from a cashier to a bank teller. Yeah. And I, honestly, one of the best things working for a bank did for me Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if you had the, a similar experience. You probably did, especially going into private banking, mm -hmm. right? Is seeing people's bank accounts and Ooh. seeing how much money they had yeah. and just being like, how? Yeah. Just knowing that it's possible 100%. to have, you know, $300,000 sitting in a, in a check-in account. And let me tell you, seeing other people's bank account and that and the person doesn't match the bank account. Yeah. You're like, this ain't a fancy person. It's right. <laughs> like, that, that's what did it for me because, don't do, I mean, it, it just is what it is. Yes. I don't remember the people with the fur coats and the, who looked like they had money were negative, overdrawn. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, you sure this is your, give, give me your card again. Let me swipe it again. <laughs> is this you? Yes. And then the person with, with all the money had wore the same shirt. Mm -hmm. like, like, I, was, I was like, and so it it actually opened my mind yes. to make me realize that money doesn't have a look. Yes. You can't look at somebody and say they have money or they don't have money. Right. It's really, if you have money, you have money. Correct. If you don't have money, you don't have money. Like you can't make up in your mind what money looks or feels like exactly. because everybody manages it differently. Right, and it manifests differently on everybody.